Hey, how's everyone doing? I am back with another tip, actually nine tips about going live on social media. Now we always have to remember, going live on social media is really broken down into three parts. First, the buzz you have to promote. Second, the actual show where you have to interact. And three, the follow-up where you need to follow up and share the broadcast you just went live with. Now, here are nine tips that I feel are great for Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and Twitter Live. First, Promote before you go live. Send it out in email, social media, on your website. Promote, promote, promote. Number two, script the process. At least have an outline. Don't just go in there cold. Have some talking points. Know what you're going to say. Three, invest in a tripod or some kind of mount. It's going to be, if you do a broadcast that's more than 20, 25 minutes, your hand's going to get really tired. There's no way you can hold up that for that live broadcast. You have to have something to hold your camera on or your smartphone. Number four, change your angles during the broadcast. That could be moving the camera, panning it left to right, tilting it up and down, or even getting one of those devices called a Mevo, where you can actually interact with your phone, tap, and change the camera angles. The more time you change the camera angles, the more likely someone's going to look and check in on your broadcast. Five, remind your audience to like, share, and comment. You need to interact and engage. The more shares, the more comments, the more likes you're gonna get, more likely Facebook is going to share it with more and more people so your audience will grow. Number six, remind the audience of your why. People are gonna jump in and out of the broadcast throughout your whole time that you go live. You're gonna have some new audience members. Always remind them every 10 to 15 minutes why you're there and why you're going live. Number seven, respond to the comments when you're at live. Interact with your audience, they love it. The more you interact, the more audience engagement you're gonna get. And even go back and interact with those comments after the show. It's really gonna help out your engagement and your reach for your broadcast. Number eight, always share the replay. Go back in and uh, edit and put more pictures, a uh, actual thumbnail for your broadcast, and then share that broadcast to your different channels that you have. Share, share, share for more audience. And last, but certainly not least, if you're a school district especially, you're gonna have school pages, you're gonna have district pages, make sure to cross post. Let more and more people share. If you cross post a live broadcast, you can go live on your school pages, your district pages, and any program page. It really pays off. I hope these tips help. Make sure to check me out on www.socialmediaschoolhouse.com.